one burst. <laughs> I'll take you on. Look out! Huh? <laughs> Thanks for piping up back there. I mean it. The name's Terra. It's nice to meet you, Terra. What are you nuts running out onto the course like that? Yeah, that's against the rules. I'm sure you had your reasons, but I can't say that I approve either. Well, rules don't apply when you're up against the unversed. Rules don't apply? You sound just like Pete. Look, it's Captain Dark. Disguised in shadows, the rogue racer reigns. I am Captain Dark. And you must be the chump who made me miss a new track record. Hold on. How's come I don't know you? Somebody bringing in a ringer? Ah, oh, I'm not even a racer. Must be downright temptatious to try and stop a primo racer like me from getting a record, but we all gotta play by the rules, rookie. Now, just a second. You're the no-good cheater who's always breaking the rules. Well, I can't say racing interests me, but I need to defeat the unversed. Tell me what I've got to do. Are you talking about all those carts that look like scary, ugly monsters? Hmm. Hmm. Well, we've only ever seen the monsters on the track. That's it! Tara, you just need to enter the races. And while you're at it, take that Captain Dark down a notch or two. He's always breaking the rules and causing trouble. I have to become a racer? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Now I'm sure I don't have to tell you. I know. I'll play by the rules. Oh. Yay! Terror's gonna be a new racer! Just come talk to me whenever you're ready. I'll get you signed up and everything. Alright everyone, welcome to Disney Town. Um, this world is actually pretty unique as in we only need to do one thing each time each of the characters come here and we can do that right away and we're done with that world. We're done with the world. That's all we need to do. However, this world is different in the uniqueness, hold on, of, where is that? Hold on, I actually have a guide up, on my, not guide up, a guide on my, uh, in front of me. Come on, Terra. There's Terra. Trying to get to it. The guide set. The, the guide book is really set up weird. Okay. So, um, each uh, each of the characters will come here and they will be introduced to a new mini game. This entire world is set up of mini games, but we can still explore and get some stuff. So, uh, let's see here. All right. All we have to do for Terra is to do the race. So we do it one time, and we're done. However, comma, if we go through all of the races that are available here, we get a new Keyblade called uh, the Rumble Racing Tro uh, Keyblade. Rumble Racing Trophy Keyblade. It's, eh, not great, but not bad. Um, but it's recommended you do it. There are other things we can do here, like a ice cream minigame. Um, it's basically just a uh, rhythm game, so I'm not going to do it because copyright music. Um, all you have to do is press the buttons as they appear on the screen, um, do them enough times, and you'll unlock, and you'll be able to get it done. That's very much all you need to do. What's great about that, though, is afterwards, I actually think I'm going to be able to show you that, um, you can buy ice creams. Um, turn that off quickly. Let's go uh, explore quickly. Oh, before I forget, here's some stuff I did off screen. Terra's level 41. <laughs> Let me explain. Um, I got the EXP Walker ability. Where is that? There it is. Get one XP for every step you take. So what I did was I took an old necklace of mine, uh, back from my high school days, uh, wrapped it around the joysticks and semi control down the charge, and then just edited some stuff on my computer, watched some Netflix, you know, fun stuff. And Got a little distracted. I'd intended to get like you know 30-ish maybe, 
But uh, when I got back, he was level 41, so I'm like, ugh. Oh well. Um, so because of that, uh, Aqua and Ven are in the 40s as well. But they're pretty OP now, even this on, th on this difficulty. Um, I went through the uh, Mirage Arena, and I just walked through it. Uh, speaking of which, the Mirage Arena now has a bunch of interesting stuff available. Let me go to... Where's it at? Game records, arena missions, here we are. Um, I was able to get up to Combined Threat. Um, certain arena battles will give you uh, special prizes for beating it the first time. And they're different per character. For example, when Terra beats the Weaver Fever, which I haven't... Oh yeah, I have. Okay. He gets plus 5 EH, uh, HP, which is great. Uh, for being Sinister Sentinel, he gets a Xehanort's Report, number 5. So I think I got that. Yeah, I did. Um, for beating Dead Ringer, which I did do, you get the Dark Gnaw Keyblade, which I did get. Um, there are a few other ones which I'll mention as we go. Um, at the end of the Let's Play, I will have a special video up, basically running through all of the arena modes and the prizes for each character. If I remember to do what that is. But because of that, I now have a fairly powerful Keyblade. Uh, let me show you exactly. Let me turn off my flashlight on my phone. I can't stand recording in light rooms. Hurts my eyes. Alright. So, items. Here's my Keyblade, the Dark Gnaw. Look at that beast. It's so good. So, a last set, we got. I think a Stroke of Midnight. No, we were using this one for a while. So, yeah, as you can see, it's. fairly stronger. It's a good. It's a really good Keyblade. Um, what's also unique about this world before I forget. This is the only world that actually does have a bonus cutscene depending on what you do with your other characters. If you have save files of stuff that's already been done. Um, because of that, I did go ahead and go through it with Aqua so I could have the cutscene at the end of this. Um, bear in mind... Why is it still rotating? Um, I, still, I will still record with Aqu uh, Aqua's playthrough of it. Um, I just wanted to get the world done, get that done so we have the cutscene here. Now, I'm not 100% certain if the cutscene will play or not, because it's been uh, an age and a half since I last played it, so who knows. But yeah, pretty strong now. I also have the next, um, yeah, Razor Mark 2. Dash. I love my dash. It actually dashes far. Boop, boop, boop. Rid of that. Oh, got him on the backstroke. Nice. Now, there are a lot of... Ooh, Binding Crystal. Nice. Free Binding Crystal. Uh, there are a lot of treasure chests here. I'm not going to go get them because it's going to take a lot of time. But I will do some basic explorations uh, with the characters. Oh, yeah, I got all of his... Um, Combo pluses too. Push in. Oh, there's a big one. Which gives us the map. Yep. There's supposed to be a hidden something we can get here. Oh well. Uh, is it you need to talk to? Shop. Okay. <clears throat> so the items we've been getting from the prize pods come here. We give them to him, and if we have enough, he'll say that he's made an ice cream. As you can see, we got the snow bear. We got six of them for uh, free. Uh, view recipes. So it tells us how many of what we need to uh, make them. You need a fair bit to make a, make a few of them. What's great about these things, I can even buy it now, is if you eat them, you go straight into a command style. Um. There actually is a list, give me a hot second, of all of the ice creams. I should have had this prepared ahead of time. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. No, I'm looking for... It's not games. It might be in this, page, this section. Ice cream beat. Nope. Nope. Blades, ingredients. Oh, 
there was one that was one. I know there's a uh, page in this book that has all the information on them. I just can't find them for some reason. Hmm. But you have ones that can take you straight into literally all of your um, command styles. Which is just great to have in general. I'll find it later on. So, my advice is to make sure you get all of the... Uh, can't all the ingredients as much as you can. Come back here and give them to him, and he'll give you what you need. Thanks again. I'm on in. Yeah, that's all I have. Oh, and here you can see the ones that you do need. Like we need golden jam, uh, pickle pepper, tunbasco, open sesame. Actually, we have enough of those. We need two more soy milks. We need four thunder crackers. You can kind of guess what they're going to turn you into based off their uh, ingredients. Like this, Thundercracker, Rocket Soda, le Dancing Lemon. Obviously, it's going to be the freaking Lightning one. So, yeah. And there's one for each of your uh, command styles. So, it's a good idea just to go through them and get them all. You also get, I think, a Keyblade for collecting them all as well. Now, is there anything specific I want to grab? Oh, there's that. Okay. <clears throat> Come on, phone. There we go. <clears throat> there's a hidden mini game we can do. There's actually a few things we can do. I think it's this one. There it is, confetti. Huh, where is that manhole cover? This is what the mini game is. Like I said, it's a, it's a uh, rhythm game. Um, I believe we go through all the mini games with the exception of that one. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, through all three characters. Actually, we make them through that one too with Ven. I think it was Ven. I can't remember all the mini games off the top of my head. Here we. This. Oh, that's a crap the mimic. Oh yeah, I'm working on Mega Flare, that's right. I got Dark Fiaga. Fire! Bam! I need Crawling Fire, which is Fiaga with Slow. Alright, so I need a lot of lightning effects. Do I have any more lightning? Crap. Command stack. Oh. Finish that, cool. I don't need to stop at this moment. Thunder. Alright, open this. Thunder, thunder. It's kind of the uh, the hint we need to do here. Thunder! There we go. If you ever go into the uh, the Thunderstrike um, mode, you're able to just strike it to get it. Which makes it a lot easier. Alright, come on down. I'm probably in trouble for this music. <laughs> oh. I'll come back here for the treasures later. Like I usually do. Oh! Well, I guess I get some treasures. <laughs> Absolute zero? Nice, nice. Do I have... How's Dark Volley coming? Alright. Oh. Eh. oh, no. Oh, you piece of crap. There we go. Oh, piece of crap. We go. Come on down. Oh, there we go. I can definitely get that. Oh boy. Uh, there we go. Woo! A fancia. Nice. Not bad. Right, let's get through here. Um, here we are. 
I leveled up. And jump. So what we want to do is get all the blue ones, I believe. We can also uh, do that. There we go. We're playing a pinball machine. We can kind of control where we're going. Oh, man, I fell out. We need to get them all in one go. Now, bear in mind, I'm only going to do this with Terra, with Aqua, and Ven, who are coming up eventually. Um, I'll just do their minigame. Jump. There we go. Uh. Nope. No! It's crap. It's rigged. Pete, what'd you do? Oh, got another one. Take all four. Nope. One more. It's up at the very top, I know it is. Oh, crap. Off we go. Ah, crap. Mistimed that. Oh, jeez. The heck just happened? More up. A little higher. Got it. Whoa. Get this chest. Break time! This actually is a really hard to get uh, command if you're doing it through fusion, because you have to get it through a failed fusion. Which sometimes happens, they're very, very rare though. Like some fusions, most fusions have a guarantee, uh, but some will give you a chance to not get it. And you usually get something special out of it. All right, there's also some chests up there if memory serves. I'll worry about that later. My question is, can I make it all the way over there? If memory serves, that's what the prize pods of this world is. I may need to come back here a few uh, while later. I could have made if I did Thunder Surge. Oh, good. That was, that was crap. Never mind. Alright, let's do some indie game. Oh, didn't mean to do that. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, we need to win the race. <coughs> Alright, accelerate with bra uh, uh, X square with triangle. Make sharp returns by changing directions while on break. Use ramps to dash rings. Okay. Uh, if you see a marker, press circle to attack. Triangle to block. These races are very bare bones, easy to do, so it shouldn't really matter. Especially this one. This one's easy. I'm gonna fail right away. Oh uh, crap! Oh, that's right. I, I got. I got used to the skid thing again. I used to be very good at this. Oh crap, trap turn. That was too sharp. If you grind against the wall, you're going to get stuck too, by the way. You're gonna slow down. Go. Yep. You wanna do the shortcuts. The, the, the uh, AI rarely uses the shortcuts. Dang that, that, just turn. It's so, ugh, hate it. If memory serves, you should be able to uh, go through tornadoes as well. I'm not gonna attempt it, but you should be able to. Shut up. Oh crap. I screwed myself. Oh man, that that really screwed me. I 
fall out. I should have pulled off pretty easily if I get the ramp. I don't hit a tornado again. Okay, good. Whew. Yeah, we got this. Like I said, it's fairly easy. It's just kind of annoying. Now, if memory serves, to unlock the other races, we have to beat them at certain times. Let me double check that to make certain. Okay. The Kaji Race Racetrack is the only is one uh is, yeah, only the first of four unique racetracks in the Rumble Racing League. Your victory on the first track has unlocked the Disney Drive Track, and top three finish in uh, and that unlocks the Grand Spree course. If you secure first place uh, finish there, you unlock the Castle Circuit. Uh, first place prizes for Destiny Drive and the Grand Spree, uh, the Fire Dash and Aurora Commands are nothing special, but players who conquer the Castle Circuit receive truly, uh, something truly cool for, the key, for their time, the Victory Line Keyblade. Uh, it has better stats than your current one, but that isn't the case for long. Uh, if you want to get it, now's the time to do it. See many game sections for details. So yeah, basically all we need to do really is just get first place in all of the um, race circuits, and we'll get them. I'm just trying to see what all the prizes are. Here we are. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Okay. Uh, first place prize for first. This one's gonna be like a high potion. Yep. Uh, first place prize in Destiny Drive. Er, Disney Drive is Fire Dash. Uh, first place in Grand Spree is Aurora, and the last one's is the Keyblade thing. Yeah. All right. Um, I'll talk about that one later on. Okay. Oh, my cart must have sprung a spring. Yahoo's just wait. Next time I'll clobber all of you. Yippee! I hope he's gone for good. Nobody's gonna vote for a weasel like you, Pete. Pete? Vote? What are you talking about? Chip means the Million Dreams Award. It's a very popular part of our dream festival. Everyone in town votes for who we think is the most exemplary citizen. And since everybody knows how much of a troublemaker Pete is, he probably figured wearing a disguise was the only way he'd get any votes. No votes, no prize. Yeah, the prize is all he really wants anyway. He doesn't care about being a good citizen. Oh, I think that's very sad. The award is supposed to help us appreciate how much we all look out for each other every day. Well, one thing I know for sure, I'm voting for Terra. Your racing really saved the day against those monster carts. Hip, hip, hooray for Terra! <laughs> well, I got something out of it, too. I learned that you don't always have to bend the rules to reach your goals. <laughs> All this time, I've been staring into the darkness. But... That doesn't mean I have to jump in. That tone shift. Jeez, Tara, calm down. Go cut some with all that edge. Alright, um... We should get our cuts if we go inside, I believe. Alright, the Dream Festival has a wealth of wonderful attractions, including something I try to come back soon. Alright. Let's see if the cutscene that's supposed to play plays if we go back. No. Nope. Alright. I'm not looking to how to get that trigger. I could have sworn there's, a way, there's uh, something special to get from doing it. Hey. Fire! Oh. That's for the minigame. We'll do that uh, later. Hmm. Alright, so that's it for Terra. I'll see you guys in a little bit with the next character.